ever get that feeling? You know that feeling? Like we're not alone in the universe. Hmm. I know what you mean. I mean, it's a big place out there, right? It really is. Well, get ready. Because today, we're diving into one of those what-if moments in history. Oh, I love these kinds of deep dives. The ones that make you wonder. The 1957 Kirtland Air Force Base UFO sighting. Ever heard of it? Oh, yeah. This one's a classic. What makes it so fascinating, at least to me, is who was involved. You mean the whole military connection? Exactly. We're not talking about, you know, some blurry lights seen by someone driving home late at night. These were trained military personnel. And not just any military personnel, right? Yeah. We're talking about folks stationed at Kirtland Air Force Base. A high security base. Yeah. It really makes you wonder what they saw up there. Right. So picture this. November 4th, 1957, Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. Okay, got it. I'm there. You're looking up at the night sky and then boom, things get strange. Strange, yeah. Multiple people on base, and we're talking multiple eyewitnesses, start reporting these strange lights. Bright, multicolored lights moving in ways no one had ever seen before. Moving in ways how? What's so strange about the way they were moving? That's the thing, and this is where it gets really interesting. We're not just talking about your average UFO sighting here. Some of these reports came from seasoned pilots. Oh, wow. Seasoned pilots. Yeah. You know, guys who spend their lives in the air, who know aircraft like the back of their hand. Even they were baffled. That's saying something. Pilots tend to know what's up in the sky. Exactly. One pilot, and this is in the reports, described the movements as physically impossible for any aircraft he knew of. And remember, this is 1957. We're talking about a time when jet technology was still relatively new. That's true. Yeah. So if it wasn't some experimental aircraft, what was it? And it gets even weirder because it wasn't just visual sighting. Don't be me. They picked something up on radar, too. You got it. Radar operators at Kirtland, they picked up these unusual objects on their screens as well. Okay, so now we've got multiple witnesses, trained observers, seeing these things with their own eyes, A&D picking them up on radar. Yeah. And nobody knows what they are. And you know what happens when something like that occurs on a military base, right? It's not exactly something you can just sweep under the rug. Yeah, you know, someone hit the big red button and the higher-ups came knocking. What did the government do with all this? So what did they do? What did the government do? Well, you know, at first I think they probably tried to brush it off. You know, just explain it away as some easily explainable thing. Like what? What could they even say at that point? Well, they could say it was a weather balloon or something. Yeah. Or maybe some weird atmospheric thing. You know, there are a lot of things that look strange in the sky and end up being totally explainable. Yeah, I guess. But these were trained military personnel we're talking about, right? They probably knew a weather balloon when they saw one. Exactly. These weren't just random civilians calling in a UFO sighting. And that's probably what made the government take notice. It was credible reports from credible people. So what happened? Did they step in and try to keep it all under a wraps? Well, it's not like they could just make it disappear. Too many people were talking about it. So what? They decided to investigate, like really investigate. Yep. They handed it over to the Air Force yeah. and they went full on X-Files mode. No way. Really? Oh, yeah. They interviewed witnesses, looked at radar data. You name it, they did it. What did they find out? Did they ever figure out what those objects were? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And here's the thing. They never could explain it. Get out. You're kidding me. Nope. The Air Force, even with all their resources, couldn't come up with a definitive answer. So are you saying they basically just threw their hands up in the air and said, well, we give up? Pretty much. Imagine that. The most powerful military in the world, and they were stumped. Yeah. It was like something straight out of a movie. And I think that's what makes the whole Kirtland AFB thing so fascinating, you know? We love a good mystery. We do. I've got to admit, this is way more interesting than I thought it would be. So if the government the Air Force, all those experts, if they couldn't crack it, what are we left with? Well, that's where the speculation begins, right? Without concrete answers, people are free to fill in the blanks themselves. Fill in the blanks, huh? Like, with, give me some theories. All right, all right, so one theory is that it was some kind of, I don't know, a top secret experimental aircraft or something. Ooh, like a secret government project. I like it. Tell me more. Well, remember, this was 1957. The Cold War was in full swing. Right. Lots of crazy stuff going on back then. Exactly. So it wouldn't be totally out there to think that maybe, just maybe, the military was testing some kind of new super secret aircraft that just, you know, happened to get spotted over Kirtland. Okay. Okay. I can see that. But you'd think that eventually someone would have talked, right? Yeah, you'd think. But hey, some secrets stay buried pretty deep.
That's true, I guess. Okay, so what other explanations are out there? Well, there's another theory that's a little more, shall we say, grounded in reality. Grounded how? Some people think those lights might have been ball lightning. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, isn't that like some rare weather event? Exactly. And it's super weird. Even scientists don't fully understand it. So you're saying it's possible that what those pilots and radar operators saw was just a weird lightning storm? It's a possibility. But, and this is a big but, the radar data from that night didn't show any unusual weather patterns. So again, it's a theory that doesn't quite fit. It's frustrating, isn't it? Like, we want answers, but we just keep getting more questions. I know, but that's what makes this stuff so much fun. Okay, ready for another theory? Hit me. What if, and just go with me on this, what if those lights weren't from around here at all? You're not going there, are you? Oh, I think I am. You're going to make me say it, aren't you? It's aliens, isn't it? That's the theory you're going with. Well, it's the one that everyone always jumps to, right? True, and I get it. It's exciting. But is there, like, is there really any evidence to support the whole alien thing? Or are we just, I don't know, letting our imaginations run wild here? I mean, that's the thing about these kinds of mysteries. We can speculate all day long, but without hard evidence. It's all just theory. Exactly. And look, in the case of Kirtland, there's no, like, spaceship wreckage or alien bodies or anything like that. Yeah, no, take me to your leader moments. Exactly. But here's the thing, and this is what makes it so intriguing, right? Because we can't definitively explain those lights, can't rule out any possibility. It does make you wonder. That's the thing about the unknown, isn't it? It opens up all these possibilities. And it kind of makes you question everything you thought you knew. Are we really alone in this massive universe? Hmm. Or did someone or something pay us a little visit back in 1957? Big questions. You know, we dove into this whole Kirtland thing hoping for some answers, but it seems like all we've got is more questions. Maybe that's the point. What do you mean? I mean, maybe cases like this, as frustrating as they can be, remind us that there's still so much out there that we don't understand. There are still mysteries in the world. That's a good point. Even with all our technology, all our advancements, we haven't figured everything out. Exactly. And who knows? Maybe we never will. Maybe some things are just beyond our grasp. It's kind of humbling when you think about it. It really is. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. What a trip. We covered a lot of ground, heard some amazing stories. Yeah, it's amazing to think that something like this really happened. We may never know exactly what those lights over Kirtland Air Force Base were, but hey, that's half the fun, isn't it? That's the beauty of a good mystery. It keeps us guessing, keeps us looking up at the stars and wondering. 